What's up guys? Today I'm going to show one of my favorite series from the Closed Guard, which was showed to me by uh, my friend and black belt, Red Ducharme. Um, it's a fantastic way to either take someone's back or get underneath them for the pendulum sweep or the arm bar, depending on your opponent's reaction. So let's start in the Closed Guard. It's going to come off of this two-on-one grip. Everything that we're going to do off of this series comes off of this two-on-one grip. So I'm going to take my opposite hand and reach across to her far side wrist. My thumb is going to be down, so don't grab like this. This is wrong. You want your thumb to be down just like this. My other hand is going to be here behind your elbow. And I'm going to bring the arm across like this, okay? At the same time, I'm going to pull hard with my legs, dragging her in this direction. So one, two, drag, okay? So I see I pull hard with the legs, and I drag her arm across. Now, when her arm lands... You see how my elbow's pointed in? This is a very weak position. She can easily escape, right, by turning her wrist out. So when you land, you have to make sure that you're turning the wrist out like this. And now this is quite a strong position. My other arm is gonna now reach up and grab her lat just like this, okay? So I'm holding onto the wrist and grabbing her lat. Try to get out, Chels, right? It's tough. Maybe you could use the secondary hand to brace and you would eventually get out, but I've got a decent grip for a while, right? Now, if I'm like this, right now, try to get up. Yeah, easy, right? So make sure when you land, you're like this. So one more time for that, for that pull, because everything that we do is going to be off of this position. So one, two, pull, reach for the lat, bring this across just like this. Now, depending on how her posture is, I'm either going to take her back or I'm going to go underneath her for the pendulum sweep or the arm bar. Now, her posture is pretty broken here. So I'm gonna take the back. If your opponent has a pretty broken posture, you can take the back. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my guard and I'm gonna scoop my butt away from her and tuck this knee to the mat, just like this, okay? And I'm gonna use this lat grip that I have to pull myself up. And it also, if you notice, I let go of the hand now and I'm posted out. So I'm gonna use this post and this lat grip to pull myself up. I'm gonna take this leg all the way through now and get my hooks in here, okay? So let's go back and do it again. So one, two, pull, grab the lat. Now I scoot out, swing up just like this, okay? And that lat grip, I kind of transitioned it to a shallow underhook because this is going to keep me anchored to her. So like if she tries to roll here, I'll be able to follow her, okay? So that's the back take. And if you can do that, awesome. Now, let's say I do this, but her posture doesn't completely break. Yeah, she's like this. Right now she's a little bit stable. I'm probably not going to be able to scoot out and take her back, okay? What I'm going to do instead... And the opportunity she's given me by having this more elevated posture is to come underneath the leg. Okay, so I'm going to snake this arm underneath the leg, open my guard, and I'm going to pull myself underneath her. Okay, the way you can think about it is you're pulling her knee to your head and your head to her knee. At the same time, I'm getting my hips underneath her. So I'm opening, pulling myself in, bringing this leg up nice and high. So don't leave this leg out here. Okay, this leg is coming nice and high up into her, up into her armpit. Now, the pendulum sweep is pretty easy. I'm going to take this leg, and I'm going to do a big swing. So if you could come across to the other side so you can see. So I'm going to take this leg. I'm going to do a big swing, and I chop low, okay? And at the same time as I chop low, I push with this leg. So let's do that one more time. So we're here, okay? Big swing with this leg, chop low, and then push with this leg. Just like that, okay? And I come up on top into the mount. Now, if I want to go for the arm bar, so come to the other side. So if I want to go for the arm bar instead, and I've got a good trap on this arm, which in this case I do, I'm going to let go of this leg and grab her arm so she doesn't yank it out. Because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let go of her, this lat grip, which is what's pulling her down to me, and I'm going to frame on her face and swing this leg over. Okay. Now I've got my arm bar here. Now again, I've said this before, but when you're doing the arm bar, make sure you're not biting down on the neck, okay? This actually doesn't stop her from driving into me and stacking me, okay? Because she, she can still use her musculature up top here to drive into me. But if I go to the top of her head, right now, try to drive into me. Come on, right? Big difference. Now she can't use this. It's just her neck, okay? So if I'm on her neck, she can use her back, right? Her back shoulders, drive in. Now, if, she, if I'm on her head, now she can't. So I push down here, and I can finish here. Or if I manage to fully take her over, then I just finish here. Okay? So that's your series, guys. If their posture is sufficiently broken off that two-on-one grip that you pull across, you can take the back. 
if she starts to regain her posture, then you can go either pendulum sweep or you can go arm bar from there. So it's a highly effective series, guys. I love it. Uh, Brett, thanks again for showing this to me. Uh, I think this was a couple of years ago now. I've used it quite often since then. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you share the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure you click that notification bell so you guys get notified every time we have new videos out there. And if you like these videos, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. This all is stuff that helps us grow the channel and spread this information to more people. So thanks a lot for your support, guys, and we'll see you next time.